Well, hi everyone. Today we're going to start with section 3.9. First, we're going to review some geometry. So the geometry that we're going to review is the formulas for values for some object. The first one is going to be a rectangular box. So for rectangular box, uh, with length to be L, width to be W, height to be H. The formula for the value is equal to length times width times height. Now the second one that we want to review is the formula for a cylinder. A cylinder with base to be a circle. What's the formula for the value of a cylinder with a base to be a circle and with height to be H? It is going to be equal to this base area times times the height over here. This is a circle, so the base area is pi r square. Okay, that's the base area. So the height here is h. So that's for a cylinder with base to be a circle with radius r. Now the second one we want to review is it's going to be the value for a cone that has the base here to be a circle with radius r. And also the height for that is also h. So what's the value for this, this cone over here? The value for that is equal to this wonder of this pi r square h. So let me write that down first. As you can see that uh, this two formula, they're kind of related. So if you have a cylinder uh, with base to the circle with radius r, and a cone that the base is a circle with radius r, uh, both of them have the same high h. Then if you fill this up, you can fill this cone up with water and put it here, and that is going to fill up one third of this cylinder right here. So you're going to fill up, up to here. Now another question that I would like you to think about is, uh, suppose you are given two ice cream cones with um, this radius and this high, or you can give an ice cream cylinder like this, well, which one would you choose? You want two of this or you want one of this? Right? Think about it. So which one has a bigger value? The last one over here is going to be the value for a sphere. Okay, so this is a sphere with radius to be r. So what happened over here is the value turned out to be pi r cubed times four over three. Those are the formula I would like you to like uh, remember because we're going to use it over and over in this section over here.